Colossus is the most advanced lineup optimizer in daily fantasy sports. Lock and exclude players. Adjust player exposure to reduce risk of injury or poor performance. Customize individual projections or upload your own projections. Generate hundreds of optimal lineups in seconds. Name and save the best lineups. Create winning lineups for the top sites like DraftKings and FanDuel for free at DailyFantasyCafe.com. Hello and welcome to the Injury Report Podcast on Big Italy 42 here talking about some key injuries for the NFL from this week and uh, moving forward and some potential um, falling out, some uh, some changes that could happen from these guys or maybe some changes that won't happen. And uh, not a lot happened this week. We were fortunate this week with not a lot of injuries, but um, starting off here with uh, the key player that missed a game this week, and that's Andrew Luck from the Colts. Uh, Colts playing on a short week this week. On Thursday night, he uh, Luck has a shoulder injury. Uh, Hasselbeck stepped in. Uh, he threw a ton. They did well, enough to win. And looks like Luck is very likely to play on Thursday. And backup quarterback Josh Johnson was released. And so it's going to be interesting to see, as uh, as we pointed is pointed out in this article, that on Thursday's Sunday tournament, that maybe Andrew Luck gets some exposure. But sir, it's called a soldier subluxation which is uh, not quite a separation as indicated here in the article and uh, by Ryan. And it's going to be J.J. Watt and company rushing the quarterback here. And this is a rush defense that did really, really poorly the past, this past week. Uh, pass defense that kind of shut down Julio Jones, but didn't do great against the, the other guys. So I probably won't have much shares of Andrew Luck. Looks like he's going to play. It's going to be a key division game, of course, against Houston. But just uh, it's a wait and see for me. Probably a nice fade for your Thursday contest. Next up, LaShawn McCoy, hamstring injury. And he missed the game against the Giants. And now, all of a sudden, an MRI shows a new tear. Could be potentially three to four weeks, maybe even longer. Carlos Williams stepped in. It was a very popular DFS play across the industry. It was kind of a disappointment. Couldn't get much going on the ground against the Giants until a late touchdown pass from Tyrod Taylor. Kind of paid that off. And uh, outside of that... Um, this was uh, a running game and uh, an offense that just did not do very well. Williams had 21 touches in this game, and uh, with McCoy out, he's going to continue to be the focal point. This is the guy who got plenty of touches with McCoy in. And uh, we saw Tyrod Taylor have a couple touchdowns called back here. Highest owned tournament in any tournament, highest owned player in any tournament was Carlos Williams, and he's once again going to be popular against the Titans defense that was one of the worst run defenses in all football last year, and Hasn't been particularly great this year either. Alshon Jeffrey next for the Bears. We've got a Sunday 10 a.m. game here. And uh, this one's interesting. Facing the Chiefs, who have been terrible against the pass. 25th in pass coverage according to Pro Football Focus. And uh, Jeffrey once again set out this week. And they're giving up big plays a ton there in Kansas City. Saw the Bengals. Lots of guys had big plays there against them. Marvin Jones dropped a potential touchdown. Brandon Tate caught a touchdown. Saw a whole lot going on with that. That Chiefs second has just been really, really bad. Jay Cutler is back. He was back this week. Looked pretty well also. And, I mean, this is a situation where the Chiefs secondary really struggling. If Jeffrey plays, this is a guy you almost have to have. We saw Martellus Bennett have a great game. And uh, Alshon Jeffrey, if he plays, you expect he'll be 100% healthy. And she'll see a ton of targets from a now at least almost healthy Jay Cutler, who looked pretty good this week. Final one here, Marshawn Lynch. Sitting out this week against the Lions, the Monday night game. And um, Thomas Rawls is getting the start um, tonight, actually, is Monday morning, um, going up against the Detroit Lions. And uh, this is going to be interesting because uh, if Rawls looks good, this is going to be a situation where a lot of us wanted to play Rawls, maybe had some exposure to Rawls anyway, um, anticipating as Marshawn Lynch. The, the final definitive report we got before lock on uh, Sunday was the fact that he was 50-50. And then we come to find out later on Sunday afternoon he was not going to play. So if uh, if we see a nice game for Thomas Rawls, we could obviously see him get uh, get a whole bunch of carries in this game. Had over 100 yards against the Bears last week. And uh, if he looks good once again this week, as Ryan points out here, this could be really interesting because maybe the Seahawks take it easy with Marshawn Lynch. Let him fully recover before rushing him back in the lineup. And get Thomas Rawls some exposure as a young player, the young undrafted rookie there. So keep an eye on him tonight, see how he does, and moving forward. And that will wrap things up for, luckily, 
a uh, pretty easy week as far as injury goes in the NFL. And uh, check us out on Twitter at DF Cafe. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. We have lots of great content for the NFL upcoming week five on DailyFantasyCafe.com.